All right, so climbed out on the staging, but before we look at that detail, just wanted you to check this out. You can see here, because we have a full depth foundation wall, trying to get up to the frost wall depth, we actually have to pour, you know, kind of a step footing or dropped footing there. So you can see that that concrete goes all the way down so that it bears on suitable soil. And in this case, the suitable soil is in the excavation. So that's pretty typical. But as we come down the top of the wall, remember that's our ICF wall. We have two and three quarters inches of EPS foam on both sides with a six and a quarter inch core. And if you remember coming down the wall, we had the rebar coming out of the wall there and through the foam. And that was to have that future connection to the formwork here. So as I drop the phone in the formwork, you can see here, we've actually plowed out the two and three quarter inch EPS foam. So that's the concrete core that you're looking at there. And then you can see the various pieces of reinforcing that now come out of that concrete core there and tie into this wall. So we'll have concrete against concrete there with the reinforcing bars, plus the fact that the step footing goes all the way down to a uh, undisturbed soil. So that will uh, certainly help our situation in that this thing won't be moving. And you can see as we go through here, the uh, various pieces of reinforcing. This is an eight inch concrete frost wall for the garage and you know the eight inches typically we do 10 inches around here but eight inches because it's just a single story two-car garage but anyways let's go back to the uh, studio and i'll break out the details and we can talk about this connection a little bit more in detail 